down. Only we'll make sure these bastards remember my fucking name. Outstanding. Greetings gamers, Pemby66 here. Now, um, what I wanted to show you in this video is, um, this is my next video that I'm uploading. It's it's not Whitaker vs Chavez, I've just not ch changed the title yet. It's actually um, my next fight video, which is Evander Holyfield vs Dwight Cooper, which is a decent fight, you know. it's um, I didn't notice lag. And, and which is, is great, you know, and you, you have a nice online fight and your fighter does exactly what you're trying to get him to do. But anyway, this is a few tips that I could give anybody that, you know, if you like the way my videos look, this is what I do, okay? Basically, I'm going to try and be as thorough as I can and uh, give you a few tips on video codecs and, you know, what to convert them to and whatnot. But I can only go off what I actually use. Now, do you see this here? It's Media Capture Game. This is what Bandicam has captured in HDMI from a capture card. If I right click there and we go to explore the containing folder. Where are we? There we go. See? 20.4 gigabytes. Now that tells a story in itself. You know, it's been captured with lossless quality. So you if you want to import that into Sony Vegas, your files, if you do it right, it's going to be nowhere near that size, so don't worry. So once you've finished your edited video and it's been rendered and it's ready to go to be uploaded, this can be erased. Yeah, This is an AVI file made by Bandicam. And I've gone through all the different codecs. I mean, there are some that are actually pretty good. Even a HD movie file is very high quality. You can even convert it to another AVI file, which is even higher quality, but it's still it's around about the same file size, so you de it's defeating the object really. Um, but I have found that when I convert this to an MP4, like I used to with my old files from from um, my capture card software itself, you know, and I used to record with component cables. I found that MP4 files start out okay, but they start getting all pixelated and blocky, and it looks they look really they look ruined really. Plus, when you're rendering an MP4, you can't see. Yeah, okay. I, I must I must read that because there's something you click on to stop it coming on, so it will come on again. So I'll do that next time. But I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> but anyway, basically, an MP4 is no good right from an AVI file recorded with Bandicam so I found the best all-round codec for me to render these files in is is the WMV which I'll uh, we'll go into now but when I start me you notice your, your video track here and your audio track now I don't mess about the vo volume for my audio track right this is my intro just play the intro as it goes it, See, the thing is, this intro video is a video that I've made in Sony Vegas, but I've rendered the video and then put the rendered video back in, rather than call up the program that created it, if you know what I mean. Because if the program that created it was on now, you know, it was all its different separate, so you'd, have, you'd have a separate video file, you'd have um, you'd, this bit here, YouTube, Pemby 66, you'd have that as um, a, another video track, you know what I mean. And it ha it'd have to render it all again, so it'd take longer. So why not just import the video you've created, which is, you know, a video on itself, create it back and drag it back in. Yeah. That way, it just re-renders that video. You don't lose anything with it. And uh, it's a hell of a lot quicker. Now, let's just pl press play. And you notice it goes, it fades out on its own, so you don't have to put a fade out or anything. Outstanding. Now that basically is is another video I've created, which is I create I create these videos myself. This 3D TV, I mean I, I should make it a bit brighter really, but what it is, it's it's got like a starry background with a a shiny surface where everything's re reflected on the lettering and on the the surface itself, and you've got the video playing of of me about to fight Muhammad Ali. Um, so which is a, an excellent intro for I could use that intro on its own for just Fight Night Champion videos but you know I don't want to make them too long but because I, I can't help myself but show you know this kind of thing off 
I, I have to put them in. So if you don't want to watch the in two intros to a video, then just zoom it ahead of a, a couple of minutes, you know. But anyway, this this is made in Cinema 4D, and I've done it myself, and um, I really recommend that program. If you want to find a new decent intro for your channel, just check out um, channels who specialise in in Cinema 4D intros, you know, because they're the best intros I've ever seen. I mean, if you you want to learn how to do a really good intro or download a free template from somebody check out the Cinema 4D videos on YouTube and you'll bound to find one that suits you and you can use as your own intro you know the only thing is it's like I, I have an advantage I've got the program myself so if I get an, um, an intro template which I have I have used but I mean this is all my own work this um, I have used templates and then changed the lettering accordingly but obviously you can't do that if you haven't got the program but anyway that's Cinema 4D. Um, that's just me. Now you notice this. This is a separate audio track because there's no audio with this video. This this audio is the beginning of the show. It's just a piece of music I wrote about three years ago after seeing Jean Michel Jarre live in concert. You know, and you ask the older generation, anybody's seen that guy perform one of his live show spectaculars all over the world? Particularly if you're American, he did one in Houston in '86, which held the record at the time, 1.3 million people watched the show in the streets. Um, it probably would have been more, but there was that much traffic, you know, people in the cars couldn't get through and everything. But anyway, if you notice this audio track, and this is this this part of the, the tutorial is how you can manipulate your audio and um, basically get it sounding... So like you're... Um, it's like... Uh, yeah, let's just go forward a bit. There's my main video track here. This is the fight itself. This is me versus Dr Dwight Cooper. Now this audio track, in order to... If I start my vocal here, my, my commentary here, what I would do is take this down to about 18.8. There we go, 80.8. And round about here, I'll say, Good evening, I'm Pemby66, welcome to my channel, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. But this fight audio will not be drowning out my voice. And you've not had to change that. See, if I would have kept that the same and then took the audio down, then you're taking the audio for that and that down as well. Now, I found the audio for this was a bit loud, so I turned it, turned it down to about 7 point, minus 7.4. But my favourite transition is this one. Blinds. Take it to there. There we go. See, actually, this is an actual project that I am actually working on in order to get it ready to upload it. Take it to about there, so watch what happens. Yeah, round about now I'd start talking, you know, in my usual way. And uh, it's looking a bit jerky on the screen because it's running band Bandicam's recording the video, you know, well, recording the PC screen. Anyway, there's a short preview of the upcoming fight for my channel if you want to watch it. Um, now, like I say, it's an AV, AVI file and it's going to be converted to WMV. So what I add is this. I'll show you. Colour corrector. This is Fight Night Champion. All I, add, all I change on the colour corrector is the saturation. Watch. That's default, 1.000. I just move it on one. That's all I do. Sharpen, because subtlety is the name of the game. You, you go too far, and it, it looks looks crap and gives you a bleeding migraine What looking at it, you know. Subtlety. Now, I have a, I have, um, a, co a what do you call it, a, a preset for this. It's called For New Codec, and it's 0.110. If you go to 0 0.5, 0 0.750, it starts to look a bit artificial, and you can tell it's been added. You know, that's that's just me. But 0 0.1, you don't really need any more than that. And they do look better. Than, actually, my videos, when once I've rendered them, they do look better than the originals. You know, if because because I just know by experience how to get the best out of my uh, recordings. Now, you know, when when I'm finishing this off, I'll use this one. Spin away. I always stick to the same, you know. And then you press this button here, it goes to the end. 
Now there's my outro video. Move it to the end. Right click. Now this is one thing I've not mentioned yet. Press it, right click it, properties, disable, resample. Alright, you've got to do that every time. Otherwise it ends up being coming a little bit oh shit, I've shown you the ending there. <laughs> anyway, I think you're gonna see I get knocked down as well, so I mean, you know, it keeps it interesting. But uh, as you can see, these two videos that I've imported, you know, they're both already preset. They've got the fade in, they've got the fade out. The only thing with this is there's no sound with it, so I, I add the music. Um, you see, there's one, there's a few things I could, so many things I could show you. And I've, if I press Control, let's press Control. Notice they all go a similar colour. Right, let go of control, right click, group, create new. Watch what happens. Move the whole thing about, isn't that good? Look at that. The whole thing together and don't get all mixed up and shit. <clears throat> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. Now, save this audio track. Say if I wanted to move that independently, I press U. And it'll move about on its own. Right, but once you see that blue line, you know it's back lined up again. So you don't really want to mess with that. But they're just a few tips, you know. I could give anybody. Let's uh, double click that. And you go back to the start again. Now that will will. There's a transition in between that and the outro video, and we'll show you that. I'm going to double show you that bit. Right, here we go. Baby, <laughs> he wins another online fight. I'm just about, you know. See how it failed it, faded out then. And we've got another video, uh, it's similar to the intro, but with that one, I've added my own track. It's um, LM. Hey, what were they called? Bloody, I'm sexy and I know it. What I did, I, I downloaded the. Um, what's it? Their, their instrumental version of their song, and I added some Killzone sound bites, which I took from the games, and um, yeah, it sounds pretty good. But anyway, any anything you want to know, uh, just ask, right? I mean, last but not least, I nearly forgot there. When you click render as, don't forget it's an AVI file. Just give it time because it's running slower because of Bandicam. Remember to change the title. It's not Whitaker versus Chavez. Sometime today would be nice. Am I talking to my fucking self here? Oh my god. Okay, here's a rendered here's a render as um, box. Now you can change your title here. But as you'll see, there's all these all these codecs you can use. Now I use this one, Windows Media Video. Now you notice you've got 4.8 megabytes, five, six. See this one is is the one I worked from, right? But when you go, to, when you, you I don't just use that because it's it's not not how I want it to be. So I just go to Customize Template, and I have a I have a preset. It's called New WMV. Now, the audio codec is CBR, Windows Media Audio 9.2, 320 kilobytes a second, 44 kilohertz stereo. All right, I uh, I stick with that one because I find that the, my video files play on my PlayStation when I stream from the PC. Video is quality VBR, Windows Video Media, Windows Media Video 9, high definition 12 by 720. Frame rate 30 frames a second. Now the original frame rate is 120, right? But uh, 30 frames is is enough. Bit rate. Now you can't really change that because it's all it's all done there. So it's 30 frames a second. I could change the quality up, you know. But obviously you take it to the end. Project, of course, you've got to change that to best. And uh, don't change anything else. Press OK, and it will render right so I'm not going to do that now because I need to change the title 
but that's that's how I get my videos looking the way they do right I'm Pemby 66 I hope um, I hope this has helped and um, you know don't forget if, if you want to record your, your audio you know mess about with the audio track itself that's above it don't mess about here yeah you can actually if you make sure that's that select on zone just move that bar up and down and if 18.8 .8 is not quiet enough for you or it's too quiet then just take it up a bit just experiment record your audio listen to it with headphones and listen to it without through your loudspeakers you know because some guys what I find they do is they'll do a commentary and they need to check these things because they're either the, the audio in the background is way too loud and the voice is being drowned out or the voice is way too loud you know you've got to you got to fine tune it by listening to it carefully with your earphones or with your loudspeakers most people are going to you know use the loudspeakers if they're watching it on a on a pc okay anyway i think i've covered everything there so i'm pemby 66 thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial and i'll see you in the next video bye for now